is uh, a, an application uh, done by Tim's group called the Incident Response Planning Application. And I should be able to get a video going just about now. So Tim, okay. can um, you see that okay? I, I can see that. So for um, our, our roads maintenance crews, when, when there's roads that are closed, um, via different events, they have to bring out an incident response plan, which are currently paper-based plans, which are in huge folders, that they have to uh, pull out of the back of their truck to put the, the detours in place. And so these, these plans show where the detours go and what they need to do to close a road. So we digitised this and turned it into an app so where um, employees can find the section of road that they need to close they can see on a on a map where the um, the detour is, where to put the signs in, what signs they need, whether they need traffic control as part of this detour. Um, you know, right down to the which way the the arrow should point on the sign, um, and whereabouts on the road that they need to put it, so that that they can very quickly and easily put in um, a detour for a, a section of our the roads that we manage. Um, you know, as I said previously, all of these these uh, um, plans are in paper bound folders, um, which work quite well as long as you have the folder in the car with you when you need to actually action one of these um, uh, plans and you have the most up to date plan put into the folder. So um, we found that this was a great way for crews on the road to have access to all of the incident response plans for the entire state. Uh, on their phone. And, and this is enough. also, because the, so offline access, that's something you've got as well? What yeah, look, so that was really, range? yep, that was something that was really important to us. Um, so a lot of these crews are working in areas where they'll, they'll be in a, um, in a black spot and they won't have access to a network. So the solution had to um, work offline as well as it did online. And so we, um, that was baked into the solution right at the beginning. Um, going back to that, when I talked about that minimum viable product, that was, we had, really we had, you know, three key things that, that were the, the basis of the minimum viable product. And that was, that had to be available offline. It had to automatically update um, once they were back in the network and we could push updates to it. And it needed to um, obviously hold the plans and so have the information about um, the different plans across the, the state road network. Um, and that was where we started it. You know, we had a very long list of what it could be, but we just started with what it needs to be to get up and going and get in the hands of the crews that are out there um, putting these detours in place. And any plans for extending it? So now it's being used by the crews, but it would seem that there might be other other groups that, uh, especially yeah. in emergency yeah. service and whatnot, yeah. that could find it really useful? Yeah, look, absolutely. So both internally, so we have, so this is this is aimed at our regional maintenance road crews. So it was based at regional, but we have metropolitan um, crews that could uh, access it as well. We have other forms of um, uh, transport as well. So it could work for um, railways. So if you think that there's an outage on um, uh, an incident on one of the rail networks, what's the plan for managing that particular incident so we can use it for that. Um, and equally, this we're, we're looking and we're seeing how we can actually um, deploy this out to other agencies that have um, the power to close roads if required. For example, RFS um, during fire season, New South Wales Police and other agencies that may have um, the power to close roads and may need to and put a detour in place as well. So that's that's absolutely on the roadmap for where we're going to go with this.